Hi, this is Paul Stevens with iGo Sales and Marketing, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to manage your WooCommerce store. Um, I'm not going to get into how to add and remove and edit products today, but today's uh, going to be focused on how to manage your orders. Uh, so, first thing you want to do is uh, go to your website. Here's one I've just installed for a client, and this tutorial is specifically for them. So, um, your uh, WooCommerce uh, installation will look exactly the same. So you go to the website. Uh, the next thing you want to do is put in wp-login.php. Oops. And that's the same for anyone's website. If you want to log into the WordPress backend, it's always the name of your website slash WP login uh, dot PHP. You get to the uh, WordPress sign in screen uh, and then uh, put in your username, your password. You want to uh, log in. And uh, a couple things I'm going to show you. Uh, your dashboard uh, is is editable. Um, so, you know, when you first install WooCommerce, uh, you'll see that it all the widgets for WooCommerce are down here. And maybe you know you're uh, a heavy online store. You really want to be on top of what orders are coming in. You might want to you know consider moving that you know up to the top here so that you see uh, your WooCommerce orders right away. Um, and then if customers are putting reviews on, that's pretty important. Maybe you want to put that right next to it. Um, anyway, you get the idea, but but you can uh, move stuff around on your um, dashboard here, wherever you like it, um, and set it up the way you want. Um, you know, I think it's important, you know, for sure, if you're running an online store, you want to have your WooCommerce status up top and see the orders. So this is a brand new site, so it, 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 you're not going to see any orders or anything here. Um, but uh, to get into your uh, WooCommerce uh, on your dashboard here, and you may not see all these options depending on what security level you're set up on. If you're just an editor or a shop manager, um, you might not see all these options, but you will see WooCommerce for sure. Uh, so you go into uh, WooCommerce uh, and you're looking for orders here. So uh, you click on the orders tab, you're going to go to so this one is pending payment. Uh, we entered this one in before I set up uh, the PayPal. Um, but basically what happens when the client uh, or your potential customer enters in an order, they go to PayPal, they pay the order, it should communicate back to the site and uh, you know communicate that it's it's been processed. Um, I would do a double check, especially in the beginning, just to make sure everything's working right. Uh, you know, before you ship out an order, double check that for sure you got it in PayPal. Uh, PayPal should send you a notification of payment anyway, uh, but I would cross-reference the two just to make sure. So uh, the, you can see what the order date was, pending payment. Um, processing would be the next status, uh, and processing means payment has been received and you're working on filling the order. Um, as soon as you uh, change it to processing, uh, what's going to happen is um, your client is going to get an email saying, you know, thank you very much for your order. Uh, we're currently processing it right now. Um, so the next step would be you've you've packed packed it up, you've uh, put it in the mail, you sent it off. Uh, you can then change the status to complete. Um, at that point, again, the client gets a notification that hello uh, we just complete your order it's in the mail uh, you can include tracking numbers or anything like that if you want and I'll show you a little bit in a minute how to do that um, other different on hold completed canceled refund failed um, all those kind of things failed would be like it came back from PayPal that uh, the credit card didn't clear or something like that so you can use this to manage uh, your orders in-house um, you know first thing to do would be to uh, if you have ones that are pending payment, it means you can get confirmation back from PayPal. If you have the customer's information, it might be a good idea to call them and say, hey, I know she placed an order on our site, but it, you didn't go all the way through PayPal. And, uh, you know, uh, did 
did you have a payment concern with PayPal? Uh, you know, could, I could, I'd be happy to take your order over the phone. Is there any way I can help you? Did you have any other questions? Because what this is is a customer who went all the way to place an order and then stopped right before payment, um, or you know something happened. So you might want to follow up on those. Be a great idea. Um, but most of your orders are probably going to come through as processing, which means they went through uh, and and came back as as authorized through. Um, we talked about uh, having a pending payment order uh, processing means the order is good to go and you should start filling it. Um, the next process you would have is completed when you send it out. Just a quick review, and um, you know some of the other things here to help you track are pretty self-explanatory. You refunded the order, you canceled the order, all those kind of things. So um, you'll see here uh, the, the billing details uh, and the, the shipping details of the order. Uh, you'll also see um, the items on order, quantity, price, all that kind of thing. Uh, if you wanted to um, uh, you know, print this off, um, it's best uh, you'll get an email uh, that says uh, you know what's on the order and the shipping and billing address and and all the information about the order. Um, it's best to print it from there. Uh, if you do need printing functionality, there is a WooCommerce plugin that can be added in uh, as an add-in that will allow you to print from here and maybe you know print pick sheets and all that kind of stuff. Um, but otherwise, uh, you know it's pretty much electronic and you deal with what's on the screen. Um, the other thing that you may want to uh, take a look at is order notes. Uh, so, uh, for example, um, maybe I want to send the customer note saying, you know, thank you for your order. It's really easy. You just and I, I click add. The the client will get an email. Um, now the system already sends that type of a message thank you for your order uh, you know upon receipt of the order and then updates them its processing and updates them its completed sends them another email every time you change the status but if you if you do need to send a, a note you know a oops item you know number five is out of stock um, replacing it with uh, new item that's the same or something you, whatever you need to enter you can you can enter there and that will be part of the order comments and it'll keep a history of all those um, if you want the note just to be internal to yourself saying uh, you know I don't know um, you know customer was really upset we were out of stock you can save that as a private note um, and only you will see it if I add that to the to the order like that um, so that's a that's a private note um, some of the other things you can do is uh, from the actions menu up here is resend order emails so maybe the client says hey I didn't get confirmation that you got my order you could resend it or hey I didn't get confirmation you were processing the order you can resend it um, you know completed the order those kind of things um, really simple and easy to do from here um, and that's basically it so if you go back to your orders you you'll see a list of um, orders that you know by by status so you'll see cancel orders you will see processing orders completed orders and of course you know the orders you want to deal with are the orders that uh, are in process um, and uh, it's really easy to do that so um, if you have any other questions on WooCommerce and how to manage your orders in WooCommerce, um, please give me a call. I'm here to help. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.